Hello and a warm welcome to the Tamil Nadu Brief. Hope you had a safe Diwali. I'm Sam Daniel. The headlines first. Power sharing whispers within DMK Alliance get louder after active Vijay's offer. Selva Perundagai says Congress High Command will decide for 2026. The ruling DMK rules out power sharing, claims people in Tamil Nadu do not encourage coalition government. And heavy to very heavy rains forecast across Tamil Nadu over the weekend. The Kutralam waterfalls closed for public. TVK chief active Vijay's offer for share in power if his party wins the 2026 assembly elections in Tamil Nadu, has made power-sharing whispers within the DMK allies in Tamil Nadu now get louder. Even as the ruling DMK aims for a second consecutive term in 2026. The DMK alliance, including the Congress, the left parties, the VCK, MDMK and a few other parties have won three elections successively. The 2019 Lok Sabha elections, the 2021 Assembly elections and the 2024 Lok Sabha elections, it swept. Now there is an increasing feeling among its allies that it's only fair if the party shares power with its allies if it wins the 2026 Assembly elections. The first tacit demand came from VCK, the DMK ally VCK chief Thirumal Valavan. Although he soon made some damage control, shifting the blame on others and claiming all is fine. While Selva Perundagai clarifies that it's the Congress High Command that would ultimately decide on power sharing in 2026, he also cites that the UPA government at the centre between 2004 and 2014 had shared power with all its allies, including the DMK. He also adds that the Congress gave unconditional support to the then minority DMK government in 2006. Recently, Mr. Vijay, who launched his party, had uh, promised share in power for any party that's joining him. Now, has it, in a sense, triggered that kind of an expectation among the allies in the DMK alliance in Tamil Nadu? If the DMK wins in 2026, you expect power, share in power? No, that is our All India Congress committee will decide. This is a policy matter. But what's the mood among the party? You have been supporting the DMK to win elections. In 2006 also, uh, not majority in the DMK uh, government. Even our honorable former president of the All India Congress Committee, Sonia Gandhi, supported unconditionally. That situation, that decision will take our uh, All India Congress Committee. Mm. But what is the mood? Is there a kind of an expectation slowly among the Mr. BCK? No, no, everybody is talking about the power sharing. Mm. So you are Congress party in the government, Union government, 2004 to 14. We are giving power sharing to all parties. DMK was there. Partner, yeah. Yeah, DMK also there. That so, our high command will decide. All right, okay. And then in Tamil Nadu for a long time, the Congress has been what many call as a bridesmaid in Tamil Nadu. You have been either with the AIDMK or the DMK, somehow the party has become weaker after the 60s when you were in power in Tamil Nadu. What steps are you taking to change this, now to strengthen are, the party? We are going to strengthening the village committee. We are start the campaigning coming 5th, Salem mm -hmm. district and Namakkal. Uh, within one month, 15 days to one month, we are going to strengthening the village committee. Then this, December 1st, we are going to start the Grama Darisan. Village Darisan. Our leaders going to stay in the village mm -hmm. throughout the Tamil Nadu. We'll interact with the people. What is the problem? Right. We are increasing the vote bank and strengthening the party. This campaigning will start the coming fifth. Right. And do you think in this 2026 elections, the DMK should also come forward to be willing to share power with the allies? They have to decide. How can we say? Thank you so much for your time. You. That Thank was you, Thank you so much. So that was Mr. Selva Perundagai, the Tamil Nadu Congress Chief and MLA, talking to us in Chennai. Sam Daniel, Find TV. However, the ruling DMK in Tamil Nadu has ruled out sharing power in 2026. 
It claims that the people in Tamil Nadu do not encourage a coalition government. Responding to Selva Perundagai, the DMK says even it had given unconditional support to the minority Congress government in Puducherry then. This is what DMK spokesperson Dr. Syed Hafizullah had to say. As far as the uh, power sharing in the state, the people of Tamil Nadu do not encourage such governments in the state and DMK as a party also believes that it has to be ruled by single party. However, Selva Perundagai, the state president of the Congress, has acknowledged that that decision will be taken by his party high command when asked by a reporter. But you should also want to remind to the people that in Pondicherry, when the Congress government needed a legislative support of the DMK members, we also gave the support without power sharing in Pondicherry. That is how the equation had been between two parties when in Tamil Nadu in the year 2006 to 2011, the Congress government gave an unconditional support without power sharing. A similar thing had been done by the DMK in Pondicherry where Congress was having major numbers of, of uh, legislators with them. So it is a give and take between two parties. Tamil Nadu may see a wet weekend. The Met has forecast isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall across Tamil Nadu, particularly in southern, western and central parts of Tamil Nadu. In the western districts, including Coimbatur and Nilgiris, in the central region, including Trichy and Tanjavur, and in southern districts, including Madurai, Thirunelveli and Kanyakumari. Today, authorities closed the Kutralam waterfalls in Tenkasa district after very heavy rains there. So if you have travel plans over the weekend or if you live in low-lying pockets, take enough precautions. With climate change playing out, you may never know. Well, that's all the time we have for in this edition of the Tamil Nadu Brief. Hope you liked it. Have a good weekend. We'll see you again same time on Monday. Goodbye.